one hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. Five. Hello and welcome to Cardiff on a late afternoon. The weather is nice and calm on this summer's day, where the airport remains busy thanks to increased charter traffic, but also due to the ever-expanding building site the airport is turning into. The terminal expansion is coming along nicely. The same can be said about the new BA maintenance hangar that is being built, and the construction of the new general aviation terminal has started as well. Over at the terminal we have an Embraer EAJ-170 of Lodge Polish Airlines that is taxiing towards the ramp. It has just arrived from Warsaw and will remain here in Cardiff for about 40 minutes before it returns to Poland. Then we have a CRJ-700 of Lufthansa that is getting ready to board its passengers for its next flight back to Frankfurt in Germany. Right now the crew is finishing up the cabin so boarding can start within the next 10 minutes. In 20 minutes time this Fokker 50 of KLM City Hopper will be ready to fly its passengers to the airline's home base at Amsterdam Airport Schiphol. So also here the cabin crew is just about to finish their preparations so boarding can start very soon. Then we have a new arrival here at Cardiff and one that surely will excite all Welsh spotters as Russian carrier Ut Air is starting operations to and from Moscow for the first time connecting Cardiff with the Russian capital. The Tupolev 154 still has 45 minutes left until pushback. Then we have a Boeing 737-400 of Olympic that continues with their extended schedule to and from Cardiff in order to bring tourists to Greece and especially Athens that currently is hosting the 2004 Summer Olympics. And that is also the reason for this 737-800 of travel service being in Cardiff today. The aircraft has been leased in by Monarch to cope with the increased charter traffic and so this aircraft is also scheduled to fly to Athens today, although it still has 50 minutes left until takeoff. Next we have an Airbus A320 of BMI that is flying on the usual late afternoon London Heathrow rotation. Right now the aircraft is restocking on beverages and is taking on luggage before it will leave Cardiff in 25 minutes according to the schedule. And then we have the Scandinavian Airlines Mad Dog MD-90 that is getting ready for its return flight to Copenhagen. The first bus with passengers has just arrived, so passengers will be boarding the aircraft any minute now while the aircraft is being loaded with luggage. Now before we head out to the remote stands, it's time for the news. With rumors surrounding a possible restructuring of the TUI Group's UK operations, the future of Britannia as a tour operator is being questioned. This could also impact Britannia operations at Cardiff Airport. 2003 passenger numbers set new record. Despite several route closures following the withdrawal of bus, the airport managed to set a new record of passengers counted at the airport. With 1.9 million passengers, the airport managed to increase passenger numbers by 37% compared to 2002, and that despite a decrease of movements from 49,100 in 2002 to 48,500 movements in 2003. British Airways confirms that its expanded maintenance facilities at Cardiff will be the future maintenance base for its 747-400 fleet, bringing many new jobs to Cardiff Airport. German airline Cirrus Airlines to connect Cardiff with Mannheim City via London City Airport, giving Cardiff a third London connection. The news was welcomed by local business associations stating that especially a connection to London City would be a great addition for many businesses around Cardiff and Wales. Dutch airline in troubled waters. Rumors surrounding Dutch low-cost carrier V-Bird's financial situation persists forcing the airline management to a statement. We categorically reject the rumors that are being circulated in the media about our airline's financial stability. VBird follows a comprehensive growth plan and is determined to offer the best possible prices to our customers and look forward to do so on even more routes in the future.
at the remote stands, we find this Bombardier Dash 8 Q400 of Fly B that arrived here in Cardiff about 50 minutes ago from Liverpool and now has five minutes until its scheduled departure to Cork. But it looks like departure will be delayed by a few minutes as the last passengers are still boarding the aircraft. Next up, we have the Boeing 737-800 of Sun Express. The aircraft arrived earlier in the afternoon from Antalya and is now being loaded by catering in preparations for its return flight, which is scheduled in one hour. Then we have another match dog, but this time a MD-88 of Iberia that still has 10 minutes left before its return flight to the Spanish capital Madrid. The last few passengers are boarding the aircraft right now, while the last few pieces of luggage are being loaded into the cargo hold of the plane. Already in pushback is this Embraer EAJ145 of Swiss International Airlines that came in at 10 minutes past 4 in the afternoon from Basel to where it now will be returning again. Still one hour left in its lengthy turnaround has this EAJ145 of Luxair and so it is still rather quiet around the plane. Only some service technicians are at the aircraft inspecting an instrument in the cockpit that the pilots had had some minor issues with during their flight from Luxembourg. And as the next aircraft has only 20 minutes left until departure, it is not that surprising that there is a lot more going on around the Boeing 737-800 of Pegasus Airlines that today is flying between Cardiff and Izmir. And then we have this 737-800 of Sterling Airlines that is taxiing towards the runway. The aircraft has been hired in by local tour operators in connection with the Summer Olympics in Athens and is therefore operating flights between Cardiff and the Greek capital these days. And now let's head over to our furthest remote stands and the maintenance area. Short right now is this Boeing 757-200 of Britannia that is flying between Cardiff and Palma de Mallorca today and is just waiting for the takeoff clearance now, but we'll have to wait until this MD-82 of Meridiana that is lined up on runway 30 right now has taken off. The Meridiana will be heading to Olbia, but is also not yet cleared for takeoff as the tower still is waiting until this 757-200 of Monarch has expedited the runway. It has just landed with a few minutes delay from Kos and will after its stay here in Cardiff be heading out to Heraklion at 20 minutes past 6 in the evening. Then UPS has once again sent its Albino 777 freighter to Cardiff from Louisville. Currently the aircraft is being loaded and will be continuing on its journey in about 45 minutes bringing the aircraft to Prague next. And then our last aircraft of the day is this Embraer EAJ145 of British Airways that arrived earlier this afternoon from Manchester and now is being pulled over to maintenance. Now with that we have reached the end of today's episode. If you have enjoyed this video then don't forget to leave a like that would be very much appreciated and of course if you are new around here why not hit subscribe. With that see you in the next episode of Cardiff.